Santa. Santa. Yay! Alright guys, so since we're about to get rid of this house, it's actually going to be open house today for potential new buyers to come and new owners to come check this house out. We thought, you know what, since we never gave you guys an official home tour, we're going to might as well just do that today. So really quickly, we want to run through the house and just show you how it looked. Here to the right, you have a guest bathroom. This is the first thing you see to the right. And we also have a really nice guest bedroom that I turned into like a vanity room but this is like where I spend a lot of time when I'm playing around with my makeup or just um, like filming videos and things like that but Sebastian's so calling me hold on so and then coming right over here which is like a lot of space we didn't finish decorating this home um, we were here for one year but we have a lot of moving parts with our personal life so even just coming and decorating your interior house um there were it was still in the works so you're gonna see a lot of things that look kind of empty but that's the reason like we thought we were gonna be here so much longer so we were taking our time with our decorations we didn't want to take we don't want to like go shopping and just bring all kinds of things just to fill up the house we wanted to really take our time with like decorating and things but this is a really nice area i think like it it makes the whole vibe of the house just a little bit wider when you see things like this this is not like just a bathroom right away or like the bedroom like there's actually a random dresser thing but coming over here we have our hallways our stairways to go upstairs and then right over here we have our beautiful living room this is our dining area and our kitchen we like to host and we like to have people over all the time so this is where we would be spending most of our time. Guest bathroom would be the ones used. So I really like that because there's no need for people to go upstairs and kind of like disturb the kids if they're asleep or just, you know, keeps everything divided, which we really like. And yeah, our beautiful kitchen. I love, love, love our island. So hopefully in our next house, we do have something similar or, you know, hopefully we upgrade for sure. And we're gonna take little trip outside <laughs> we're gonna take a little steps outside and out here one of my favorite areas only because i like the you can see over there i don't know if you guys can see all over there but that's big bear you can you, we can see big bear from here and then we can just see like the mountains and right now you can see some snow and I really like um, how the lights look at night. Right here, I love the grass and the cement. Everything about this outdoor area was, like, I think one of my favorite parts. I it's a nice little area. I know. I really do love the color of the house too. Like, I just feel like it fits us. Like, it's just brown, like, not too, like, green. You like, calling us Hispanics? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's so pretty, though, isn't it? Yeah. This is where we do, like, all the barbecuing. I think you guys remember, like, the one video we showed you of us buying the home? All of this was dirt. Yeah, it so was. So, we, we customed all of, like, the way we wanted to wanted the house to look. We didn't get to finish though because there's a lot of ideas that we still had pending. Again, throughout the house, I'm telling you. <laughs> but yeah. And walking in, beautiful house. And then let's go upstairs. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. is our beautiful huge loft this is our second living room and we had again so many ideas but for now we we're using it as our kids play area game room that's initially what it was going to be and we love love this upstairs straight over here we have our laundry room and it's nice and clean right now these are our dryer washer and this little area we have like a little organizer thing which i think is extremely functional this is exactly what i do i have all the hangers here so when i do laundry i hang everything here and then eventually i just take this and take it to the closet instead of like 
um, trying to go back and forth while you're doing laundry. So I just find that really convenient. That little area is just extra room, extra space. And this is, for now, it was our guest bedroom, but this was initially going to be Sophia's bedroom. We we're going to paint the walls pink and have like wallpaper, and this is going to be her like her princess room. But for right now, it's like basically uh, just bed. And Sophia, like my baby girl. <laughs> and then, oh, gosh, oh, and over here, if you guys noticed, picture this, like, this is the entrance of downstairs, and this is exactly the same thing as downstairs. So again, we have this open area, um, open area right here. We have our guest bathroom, or I'm sorry, not guest bathroom. We have our son's bathroom, mm -hmm. and Sophia's, because they the plan was that they were eventually going to be sharing that bathroom that was going to be theirs. And then here is our son's bedroom. This is the only room I can say is completely finished from decorations that my husband and I, um, we, we did. So this is the only room that made it that got a touch of love. And then for the very, for the final thing I want to show you guys is our master bedroom. And for me, this is, whew, it's everything because of how big it is. But this is our master bedroom. I can't say one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite rooms. I love how open it is right here. Like the open floor, like you can see the bed from like washing your hands and everything. Like everything is so amazing. Like it just, I love the open floor plan. Here's my husband's favorite room. <laughs> yeah, it is. And then I love how we have a shower and we have a huge tub as well because I know that a lot of houses like these don't have the tub, like they just have a really big shower. But ours does and you can get the view of the mountains, you can see Big Bear from here, and amazing view. I love that we have this open window right here and we have two sinks so that way you know my husband doesn't always come to my area and because <laughs> that's what happens um but yeah well, that's pretty much the entire house guys i hope you like this house tour and my husband's been recording the whole thing do you have anything to say before we let this beautiful house go um Nothing really, I mean, like I was telling you in the past videos, like I'm kind of used to moving. Obviously this one is going to be a little different from moving. We were a little more attached to it since we were the first owners and we did come and then put our names on all the whole skeleton of the walls like, you know, Wendy told you. So it is going to be a little different to move, but I'm excited for the next step. Um, we are definitely going to, you know, upgrade because that's always the plan is to upgrade, you know, from the last house. So yeah, I'm excited, but um, bittersweet moment for sure. Bittersweet. Moment. Bittersweet. I want to show you guys now that you said that we did like our names and everything. I also want to show you our handprints because we. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go show him. Yeah. Show them. No, it's not. Okay, come on. So we got a chance to record and give you guys a tour before the real trick just got here. So now, um, Bailey, come here. So we had a chance to give you guys like the tour and everything, but um, now it's time to go. But I really wanted to show you guys, since my husband's right now talking to the realtor and he's gonna be like grabbing the kids so we can go. Um, we're, they're gonna be doing the open house here for like basically all day. But this is what I was talking to you guys about. This is the um, handprints. And that's Marco's, mine, Sebastian and Sophia's foot. And then it's Marco, Wendy, Sandoval. Marco, Wendy, Sophia, and Sebastian, so. I just wish I can cut it and take it with me. But all right, so let me show you guys how it looks outside. It's the open house. Okay. You see? All right, guys. So we are on our way to go find something to do for the next what four or five hours? Yeah. Because um, the open house is from twelve to four. four. So we gotta find something to do during that time. So we're gonna go to Target right now to get a couple things that we need. You guys are gonna come with us and to spend the day with us. Yes, sir. But yeah, I got yeah, a little emotional yeah. 
when we drove away from the house, I got a little emotional. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I got like a little teary eyed because it's just selling this house is different from selling our home from like their previous home because our previous home I didn't really care too much about and I knew we were gonna upgrade. I knew we were gonna upgrade and stay in California. But this one's different because not only are we gonna get rid of our house that we saw it like be built from ground up, we have a lot of like memories and my daughter had her first steps there, Sebastian, just seeing him grow, become, like just blossom in that house. And then we have our footprints and our handprints. We have our handprints on the house. And just knowing that we took our time to write like positive messages into the walls, just things like that, it just makes it more intimate. And I just feel like that would just kind of hit me right now that we drove away and left the agents in there like for an open house. Um, it just kind of like pulled my heartstring a little bit. We got chronic tacos, but since Marco is on keto, show him what you got, baby. You know, I got a burrito, no rice, no beans, you know, just a little bit of extra meat, carne asada, and some carnitas. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, I got you some tacos, some street tacos. These are not street tacos. So the only thing that doesn't make it street tacos is that they put pico de gallo, which I don't know why. Mine is gringo style. I don't know why I got a gringo style, but it has cabbage. It lets you know it's, it's gringo style. Cabbage, like who puts cabbage? Why did I ask for it? I don't know. I just put it on. So we're definitely about to kill some time eating here, and then definitely gonna kill some time in Target. That's always a good thing. We can kill like two hours in Target, honestly. We still have to go to the P-A-R-K. He's been asking the whole time. So yes, I did start a job because since we have, like she was saying, a whole month that we're gonna have just being here i can't just be at the house like there's something inside of me that doesn't let me just being at the house so i have to work so i got the job that was the quickest at hiring and also was given a little bit of a bonus which you know later i found out it's, it's distributed differently but anyways i got a job at amazon at a warehouse my specific job is just basically to pick stuff but um i don't know for those of you that have already worked at amazon or those of you who haven't know that it's hard it's a pretty hard physical job because not mentally wise because it's easy all i'm doing is picking out stuff if you get familiarized with the numbers with everything like that it's so easy but what's hard on you is on the body because it's like you're just walking around the whole warehouse for 10 hours that's all you're doing is you're walking around the whole warehouse for 10 hours and if you don't have the correct shoes um or you don't stretch like trust me stretching is a key thing here because the first night that I work, I work night shifts by the way. So the first night that I work, the next morning I was, I was exhausted. Like my body was tight. My body was just dead. Actually I've only been there for like a week now. Um, and it's, it's hard physically wise. But I mean, you know, when you have um, a purpose on why you're working, which obviously my purpose is to, you know, make sure our family is good, you know, my family is good. So uh, definitely keeps me going. Um, but it's crazy because the first week, you know, they're, everybody's looking at you. Like cameras are looking at you, monitors from that, the scanners that they give you, everybody's monitoring you. So I actually saw that firsthand because after the first week that I was there, they literally called me by, you know, by name, me and two other guys, and basically took us to another place that like basically taught us something new. And whatever they were teaching us, it's like this time it's just, they already packaged up the packages and all I'm doing it is throwing it into a conveyor belt so it can get shipped out. That's all I was doing, so it's way easier. Um, so you could definitely excel in Amazon very quickly. You just really gotta go in there with the mindset of wanting to excel. I didn't go in there with the mindset of wanting to excel, but me personally, I always like to do my job 100%, so it kind of shows um, because they butt me to another, you know, I call it a promotion, it's not really a promotion, but I call it a promotion because it's like, it's easier. But uh, today I'm not there today. Um, there was just something that they were teaching me, but it shows that they are seeing my, my work because um, I, was, I was putting out, you know, like, I was, I was, I took a, took a couple Tylenols before because I'm not gonna lie to you, my body was hurting. But they also have um, a bunch of vending machines around. I'm, Amazon's real, like, they do care about their employees. They do, because they have, vending machines around and and you don't have to pay for it they give you this little badge and you scan it and and amazon pays for it for you and it comes with gloves you know uh ppe which is personal protective equipment you know and medicine you know like over the counter like there's advil there there's tylenol there's motrin um 
I think, oh, they have cough drops, like everything in these vending machines because they know that obviously it's, it's hard work, but they also want to take care of their employees. So all this is free. You just scan your thing and obviously it's to a certain level, right? You can't just be scanning, scanning, scanning and get all these like medications. I think it's like limited to like two a week or something like that. But it's real cool because they also have that and they have a lot of great benefits. Like I'm not gonna lie to you, Amazon's got some amazing benefits. After the first day, I already had the chance to go to this uh, medical facility that is just for <laughs> Amazonians, because that's what they call us, is Amazonians. But it's basically for me to go and my family after the first day, I can just I have health care. That's crazy. And obviously, it's you have to pay for it, but it's nothing more than thirty dollars. You go in there, you get, you get seen mentally, physically. Uh, you know anything that's wrong with you they have literally providers there and you just go and you pay like 30 bucks to go get seen and stuff like that or you can opt into the medical which I didn't because I know I'm not gonna be there for a long time I wanted him to share that experience with you guys because I know a lot of people wonder like what it's like to work at Amazon and if it's worth it and all these things and there's days where he comes home and he's like, yeah, I cannot see myself doing this for more than the time that I'm going to do it for. Mm -hmm. Because he just doesn't see a future for himself there. But one thing he did not mention that he told me was Whoa. that Whoa. the amount of people that showed up on day one for training and then what? Yeah, so we had 26 on day zero, which is what they call it. Training you know, day, right? Training day. <clears throat> 26, and it's crazy because the first day we actually dwindled down to 25. We were just watching um, videos, 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 PowerPoint, stuff like that. A lady, uh, this girl, she quit. She went up to the front, she gave her back, she said, I can't do this. And we haven't even done anything yet. It was literally just videos and stuff like that. But then on the second day, uh, everybody came back, you know, 26 came back. 25, 25 sorry. Um, and then on the third day, 16 came back. And then on the fourth day, 10 came back. So it was like, I, it's, it's not for everybody, you know? I would recommend working there, honestly. It's a very cool area. Obviously, all the warehouses are not the same. Um, like, I know there's another warehouse where they have, like, robots everywhere. So it's like, the robots are pretty much doing the job. The pay is good. I'm not gonna lie, the pay is really good. I start off at 19, I'll just let you guys know. So that's a really good rate, at least for here in California. If you're looking for a job, Amazon, I think, is if you have the mindset for it. Go ahead and do it. <laughs> and if your knees are not bad too, because my knees are bad, and I'm hurting every single day because you're bending, you're 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 going up, you're going down, you're doing a lot. I did 10 miles a day walking. So if you want to lose some weight, join Amazon. <laughs> hey guys, so we are at home now. It is currently time on deck. Kidding. it's currently 4 30 so um the last showing was i think right before four o'clock because it was from 12 to 4 it was an open house my beautiful beautiful home that's gonna be sold here within the next two months um i think it went great we had a lot of foot traffic come through the house but we are officially home we're relaxing a little bit marco is gonna go to work here in the next half an hour <laughs> He has night shift tonight, and then tomorrow we have another open house from 12 to 4 as well, so. Ugh. He gets off at 5 a.m. too, so kudos to him. Hardworking man for us. But, um, yeah, guys, we're just going to be chilling. Right now we're watching Blue's Clues with the family. <laughs> no, I'm not even going to lie, look. That's crazy. We don't know who this guy is because we grew up with Blue's Clues and we don't, this is a stranger. I grew up with the white dude. That, that white dude was cool. What's his name? I, I don't know. He literally just made a video recently. Yeah, he did. Um, all right, guys, so we're just going to be chilling, watching some Blue's Clues before Marco has to go to work. No, I have to too. I'm excited. I'm actually just tired right now, but yeah. Um, today was fun though. Today was cool, you know, a little, little fun day. We did go to the park after as well. Basically, got kicked out of our house for like four hours, so. Yeah. It's not our first rodeo though, so we've done this before, so it's not. Mm -hmm. It's definitely harder now because it's two kids it's that we gotta move out the house, and now we have another showing tomorrow, and you know, we just gotta make sure everything stays the same because. The kids throw everything into a freaking tornado in seconds. I know, it takes like seconds for them to destroy at least one part of the house that we took maybe like 20, 30 minutes cleaning. Yeah. 
yep it is what it is but all right guys so this is where we're gonna wrap up the video thank you so much for watching if you guys watched the entire thing and um we hope to see you in our next video which will probably be starting to pack up finding a buyer getting into escrow and things like that and um, we're gonna be taking you guys along our journey but yeah thank you guys so much for watching bye see you guys